Shalom, Shalom, this is Brother Sharaf from Fallen Kings. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, praises, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, the Holy Precious Son, the True Rap Messiah, the King of Kings, Word to Himself, Yahweh Shah, Hamashiach, also the Founding Father, of the True Father, One West. Uh, the title of this class is going to be called We Are in the Fourth Quarter. Um, yeah, the, the title of this class is uh, we, we Are in the Fourth Quarter. I made this class because we're truly at the end of this world. And um, I'm pretty sure if any brothers before they came to this truth, they used to play sports. You know, the fourth quarter, which is the end, is the uh, the final and important quarter, quarter where you know where you're supposed to give your heart, your best. You know, I think this is the this is the uh, like truly like you know like this is the time where we should be doing the hardest and our most to uh, put in this work and labor in this truth. Um, this would be the time where we would want to. Um, pray more, fast more, uh, push out more classes, uh, you know, doing, doing the truth, which is saving souls, um, you know, so the most high get the increase. And um, we just want to continue to do that as we, uh, you know, heading out to the end. Of, this is the final quarter, man. I mean, everything's about to break loose with World War Three. I mean, we're right around the corner from, you know, the MOT, MOTB being implemented. You know, pestilence and, and violence and, you know, race wars, everything that's going to be brought to the forefront. And, um, you know, I truly believe we're in that end times. And I think this is the uh, time, you know, just like the game of football, like the last play, like you want to give out, you want to put out your last effort. You know, you want to put out your best effort right now to the most high, you know, showing that we're worthy of the kingdom of heaven, you know. And, uh, I want to start with a few scriptures. Um, first scripture is going to be Matthew 24, verses 13, uh, verses 13 and uh, 14. It says, but he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. So this is the time that we're showing to the most high that we are doing to the end and we long suffering, you know, and we, uh, we've been praying and fasting for this day that the Most High is going to come with, where he's going to send the angelic angels and Yahweh Shah Hamashiach to come destroy the wicked and bring judgment to this place because it's overran, over, overly ran in wickedness. Uh, this is verse uh, 14. It says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto the nations, and then shall the end come. So, the gospel of the kingdom of heaven, man, once it's being preached and, and brought out to the rest of the world, to the four corners of the earth, man, this place is finna close out. And um, we finally will be delivered from this place, you know, from our captivity, from our misery, you know. And um, Yahweh Shah, you know, is patiently waiting on the right side, right hand side of the throne of Yahweh Shah just for that order, man, you know. And, it, and it's, and it's going it's to be horrific, something this world has never seen. I want to get another scripture, Matthew uh, 24 and 44. It says, therefore, be ye also ready for in such an hour as ye think, as you think not the son of man cometh. So when when they get to that time where um, we're being truly tried and this world is um, going up, you know, and, you know, it's already at that stage, you know. Well, this world is just out of control. It's random wickedness and wars and volcanoes, eruptions, everything, and prophecies being fulfilled. That's when Yahweh Shah is going to return. And we truly at that end time, man. This, this, like I said, this is this title of this class is called the fourth quarter, man. This is the last, that last hour, you know, that we really waiting on, that final hour when Yahweh Shah is really going to return and destroy this place. Um, I want to get two more and then i'm gonna end it uh this is the book of matthew chapter 24 verse 13 but he uh salakia it says he already went over that salakia uh last chapter um this is the book of luke chapter 21 verse 36 it says watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. 
And that's what we praying and fasting and hoping for and preaching on the highways and byways for. I'm going to read. I'm going to go from start from the top again. It says, watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and stand before the son of man. So that's what we have to pray for. That's what we have to fast for. And that's what um, we have to um, continue to endure to the end until your house shall come and uh, uh, lay judgment to this place. I mean, I, I know it's hard, you know, I'm, I know brothers, some brothers might not be doing well as others, you know, his brothers, you know, still working on the fires. We know um, brothers have children, you know, some children and wives, and it's just hectic with Esau with this, um, with this debt slavery where we tied to everything. It's a debt tied to our names, you know, bills and oppression, you know, so we just have to continue to endure and continue our best to keep these uh, law, statutes, and commandments, man. And Yahweh Shah, man, he's truly, we, you can truly see the end of this place, man. And uh, most high willing, man, we, we I truly believe that we at the end. And I, that's why I call this this um, this um class the fourth quarter because this I truly believe this is that last hour that we in. Uh, with all that being said, I hope this class was edifying. To that, I want to give all honor, praises, and glory to the Holy Father, Yahweh, His Holy Precious Son, the True Bad Messiah, the King of Kings, War to Himself, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, also the Father and Father, the True Father, One West, uh, to the One Third, and hopeful elect, I want to say peace and blessings and shalom.